All right, welcome to my backyard. I uh, just wanted to show you some wins and losses that I'm having and some of my strengths and weakness, weaknesses. And one of my weaknesses is stratification. So what I had thought were some cherries. This is the one I planted my winter garlic in. And I had thought these were cherries when they first came out. But then when I looked around, I noticed these have the same leaves as this scrub brush right here. You can see this scrub brush right here has the same kind of twist on it as the leaves do right here. You can see it's got that little hook on it. And uh, that's definitely the leaves that I'm getting out here and they don't look like cherries. So I was really excited, but it turns out these are not cherries. These are just weed trees and uh, definitely no good for me. So poo on that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take you inside and show you some of my other stratification and what happened there. Okay, so I wanted to show you the, some of the stratification issues I'm having and a lot of it has to do with mold. And uh, I do believe my fridge isn't cold enough to create the stratification. So if you wanna come a little closer, you can see what happened to my hickory nuts. You see I got some uh, mold in there. So these, these are definitely not stratifying. There's no root at the bottom. Um, they haven't softened up or anything like that. So we're not going to use dirt anymore. That's going to be a no-no. So that's my recommendation for that. Um, these are my chestnuts here. And as you can see, I've had an overwhelming amount of mold. And I'm going to have to actually get rid of this, all of this dirt and all of this stuff. And I, I don't reuse your pots. And if you are, make sure you wash them with hot water and soap with bleach. Because you really do got to kill that mold or it will come back in. Uh, even a small trace amount will come back in and just transfer to it. So my stratification didn't work. All of my cherry seeds, rose hips, and uh, peach plum. Uh, the, I believe the peach and the plum they got from the, uh, the store. So they probably were not very good seeds to start, not very viable. But the cherries, I don't see why they didn't work. I will be trying again because I don't give up. Uh, you should never give up on your plants and keep trying till you get the right method for you. Uh, it may not be for you. You might find a better way of doing it, doing it your way, doing it a different way. Um, but that's all I got for that. They didn't work out. We're going to try again, and we're definitely going to get a hang of that stratification. And just on the side note here, I've been constantly adding more seeds. Um, these are lavender, so I've only got one going. They takes about 7 to 20 days before they start to pop up. It's only been two weeks. Um, here we have uh, some more eggplant. And again, I just grew extras just in case. Well, we don't know if they'll actually get to uh, maturity, but uh, that's, where I'm, that's where I'm at. So everybody has their uh, strengths, their weaknesses. Um, my strength is uh, building <laughs> and getting things going. Uh, my weakness is actually stratification, um, but everything else seems to work. So like I had my radishes, uh, they worked perfect, right seed right into the ground. Um, they came up like crazy. Now, the only thing I didn't do was thin them out a bit to make them better. So I have better radishes and uh, bigger and uh, nicer radishes. Um, but I'm not worried about it. They tasted good. We had one. And I did have one cherry growing on all my cherries yet. Uh, and I tried it. It was a little unripe, but it, it was sweet. It was awesome. So I'm really looking forward to that tree putting out a lot of uh, cherries. So uh, this is where I'm at. Don't give up on your stratification. Don't give up on your growing. And don't forget to get your tree in there. The best time to do it is now or seven years ago. We're gonna make a trip to the gas station and the bank for a loan. So we gotta get gas. And uh, yeah, even here on the farm, it, uh, it's quite expensive. I'm just hoping for some rain. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, but what I do have over here, my radishes, as they were coming in really well, they're ready for harvest. Some of them are ready for harvest anyway, so we're definitely gonna be having some of these for dinner tonight. I'm gonna pick a couple right now. And uh, yeah, there's not much really going on at the farm this weekend. It's uh, pretty hot. I'm working on the greenhouse a little bit, so I will show a quick clip of that, um, what I'm trying to accomplish, but it's really hard to, to get a lot done. I'm gonna take a rest during the day and then maybe in the evening when it cools down just a little bit, I might come out and do a little bit of welding. All 
And as you can see, this is plenty for us to eat for dinner, but I have plenty more to do. I got some here, and then I got some over here, and I even have some beets over there, so I can eat the tops if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. But that's what I got today, so. Radishes, easy to grow. Only took about three weeks. Now I can just pull them all out if I wanted to and reseed, which I just might do.